What's going on YouTube? It is March 16th and I'm started off a little different. I'm sitting in a chair. Usually I'm standing. So right now I'm watching Summer Shred in episode two of the new season, obviously. Again, I've been doing eight bottles a day, eight plus bottles of water a day, and I've been feeling really good about it really good with myself and I feel I've been feeling a lot better so to bottle number one I'm showing on camera <sighs> yeah anyways so today we have nothing planned we don't know what we're gonna do maybe we wanted a bowl but obviously bowling is maybe like a later night, like a late night type of activity, like maybe like 10 o'clock. And they're open till 2 a.m. So it gives us four hours to bowl. If we win at 10, I mean, we can go at 11, we can go at 12. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to work out today around 4 to 4.30. I've been usually going around 6, and that's just been a little too late for me because I'm not getting out of there till 8, 8.30. Last night I got out roughly close to 9. So it was just a long, it was a long workout, but it was still a good one. And today we have chest and back. So uh, my last chest and back day, I did flat bench and incline barbell. So, no, incline dumbbell, sorry. And so today we're gonna do incline barbell and dumbbell flat. So that's always something to look forward to because I like mixing things up and trying to focus on other things and gaining strength through other things too. <sighs> Just say breakfast. I might... Ah, it tastes like peanut butter on my lips. Anyways, so we had the pancakes with some a little chocolate chips inside the pancakes and then I put one ta tablespoon of peanut butter on mine and two tablespoons of peanut butter on Mariah's. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the morning. It's... 10, 12, and I woke up around 9:30 ish to my brother calling me. He is back in Duluth, Minnesota, and he called me and said our basement flooded, which really sucks. Like, I don't know. There's something weird with like where my house is located. It's at the bottom of this little slope. So, well, not like a slope. Well, okay. So like when you go on the street, it's kind of like angled. So you would, if you looked at it, it's kind of like that. But it like rained really hard last night, I guess, and our basement flooded. We've had past flooding issues, so we kind of like built up this little barrier inside our by our um, sump pump, and hopefully, we put two sump pumps in the basement, so it shouldn't have flooded, but it did. It flooded maybe like that much, was just enough to like cover the whole ground and get anything that was on the ground wet. Thank God I had all my stuff here or. You know, a lot of stuff would have got ruined, which would have sucked really bad. Uh, but, yeah, this clip's dragging on, so I'm going to get dressed soon. Or take a shower and get dressed, get ready for the day. And then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It's a quick view of the hotel from the second floor. Our room is on the third floor, but we stopped on the second floor to get ice. So, got the nice light there. Little room over there if you wanna oops, make some snacks. And so I got a monster and Mariah got her tea and we are going to go see a movie. Uh hoping to get something to eat before the movie at one. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So we are here at Chipotle. We changed the movie. We changed to a different movie because Mariah changed her mind. We're gonna go see Cloverfield. Wait, what is it called? 10 Cloverfield? I don't know. Something around there. Cloverfield 10 or 10 Cloverfield. Like but 10 Cloverfield, Lane. 10 Cloverfield Lane. There we go. That sounds right. So we're here at Chipotle. Um, really packed here. Parking's like, had to park like four stores down. 
super excited. I love Chipotle. One of my go-to meals. So the movie starts at 145. It's like 123. So we gotta like scarf this down and then head on to the movie theater, which is like 10 minutes from here. So I'll show you guys what I get inside. All right, guys. So here's my Chipotle bowl. I have lettuce, mild sauce, corn, double chicken, brown rice. And then I got a tortilla on the side. I'll show you the macros for this meal. 100, 1,000 calories, 100, 106 carb, 32 fat, 83 protein, and then I don't really care about sodium and sugars. So, macros for the day. This is like one of my main meals. So hold me off till maybe tonight. So, I have 61 protein left, 127 carbohydrate, and then five grams of fat which is gonna be really hard. Really, really, really hard to not get five grams of fat, so I will probably go over, depending on, well actually, probably not, because depending on how many calories I burn during my workout today, which might be a lot, and then plus I'm doing cardio too, so I'm gonna go kinda like in a caloric deficit, but I'm gonna eat this and enjoy this, and then we're gonna head on to the movie, so I'll talk to you guys later. So we just got to the movie theater, I'll show you. It looks actually really big, you can see. Uh, super big actually bigger than the movie theater we have in Minnesota so I feel like crap from eating all that food like I feel sick I feel tired now I don't know I hope the chicken was cooked fully and not like undercooked but like the thing with like with eating out you don't know exactly what the portions are so I I portion everything more than I think it is so my macros may be off so I may have actually like maybe 10 to 15 grams of fat to eat for the rest of the day depending on what the bowl is actually like because I, just, I overestimate rather than underestimate just in case it's smart to do it that way but we're gonna get and we're gonna get going into the movie theater now super hot in the car turn it off and I'll talk to you guys after the theater after the movie and let you know how it is all right so we just got back from the movie honest opinions of Clover 10 Cloverfield Lane. yeah 10 Cloverfield Lane was it was pretty good. I mean, at first it starts off a little weird, but all in all, it was good. And it, Mariah got scared, so she doesn't usually get scared with too many movies. But when she does, you know, it's it's pretty good. So <laughs> maybe about an eight out of ten. Now I'm unsure what to do. I gotta go to the gym soon, so I might do that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm leaving within the next 20 to 30 minutes to the gym, so I'll probably head back to the hotel now and chill out. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so just some thoughts before we head on to the gym. I am forced to use my own water to uh, mix up my pre-workout because the water at this hotel is yellow. I don't know why that happened. Like we turned on the sink and it was just yellow. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these pills, NX6. This is um, uh, okay. Like so, I know what it does for me. Okay, so basically it helps promote increase nit nitric oxide levels, helps achieve uh, improve vascularity, so you look more, you know, vascular with the you look like you know you have a better pump. It also helps with the blood flow through your veins. So I'm gonna take one serving of that. I'm also gonna do a scoop of this scoop of this and then get some BCAs up in the cup and the lid for intro workout so that's what I have planned for my that's my supplements I usually take well finally at the gym feels good to be here so today is a chest and back workout but we're gonna start off some we're gonna be starting it off different I'm gonna hit chest all the way through, and then hit back afterwards. So the first movement today is barbell incline bench. So I've never used this machine before, so it's gonna be a little different, but I'm still gonna get done anyways. Planning to start with 160 and move up from there, ending at maybe one, uh, 225 to 230-ish. Depends on how I'm feeling, so let's get started. Actually, first I'm gonna warm up with 135, get 
getting anywhere from 8 to 10 reps. Really focusing on going slow, make sure I get a good warm up with my chest. It is about that time guys, mix up some amino acids, so I usually do this like three to four sets in, so let's get it started. So I only got three reps. I'm gonna wait like 20 seconds and I'm gonna get my next three reps. I'm gonna finish it off so I get the full six reps. Set of four, I got two. So I'm just gonna add call it good. I'm not used to that incline, so it's, it's a lot different than I go like maybe two notches lower than what that would be. So if you think about it, that's a big difference. So that was 215. I got that for two. So that was good and I feel a nice pump. I'm already sweating like super bad. My back's already like soaked. So now I'm gonna move on to dumbbell fly bench. I'm gonna start with probably the 80s and bumping up, going up to maybe like 100 pounds. So sometimes you have those days where it's just an off day. My chest days haven't been going as planned, but I'm still making the most of it. I make sure, I make sure if, uh, my first lift doesn't go like good, good like up to par with, and ha I'm happy with it, then I make sure I do extra with my accessory lifts like the like this lift that I'm about to do, the dumbbell flat bench and the cable flies and also uh, with the incline, I'm going to do the incline chest press today so I don't know. So let's get on this next lift. So 95s went up fairly easy. I got that for six. So I'm gonna skip 100 and so go right to 105 pounds. Never tried 105. We don't have them at my gym back home, so they got them here. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping to get three to four reps. If I get more, that's great. But yeah, three or four reps. <sighs> All right, let's get this done.
videos I did cable flies on my last chest day so obviously I like to switch things up so today is dumbo flies I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing uh, starting off with 30 pounds and doing 10 to 12 reps and then going up to maybe 35 to 40 in there so let's get started This one is the hammer strength incline. We're doing this for four sets and getting anywhere from eight to 12 reps. So the next one is gonna be this Another hammer strength, we're gonna do the lat pull on hammer strength. Seems really cool. So you just pull down, put the waist back there. I'm gonna be doing like four sets of this, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. Really make sure I work I focus on each each side of my lats and really get a good work. Somebody start off with the 80 pound dumbbells and maybe move to 90 pounds, we'll see. Now I'm moving on to superset, I'm gonna do face, superset face pulls with with shrugs with holding two plates, two 45 pound plates on each side. So I like to do this. I really get a really good burn in my traps and my rear delts. So when you when you do the shrugs, you wanna bring your shoulder back, then come up. Because you get a better squeeze like that. And plus you just get a better squeeze in your rear delts too. So I'm gonna do four sets anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. And I go back and forth, back and forth, no rest. Are you gonna stop because Christian's about to hit 315 on the bench press and I'm gonna get a, get this clip in. Starting with 60 pound dumbbells, make sure I go all the way back, use my last pull up, and bring it forward, squeezing my chest to do both back and chest during this exercise. I'm moving on to 
onto this row machine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it right here and I'm gonna hold it reverse grip. And I'm gonna be starting off with 125 pounds, as you can see. I'm gonna be doing four sets of this, gradually going up every time. So the next set will be 137.5, then 150, then 162.5. So let's get this next set done. is going to be um, the back back curls or raises back raises or however whatever the name is that machine right there so I'm gonna be doing that for four sets and getting anywhere from 15 to 20 reps So work goes done, we're really good. I got a big sweat going, let me show you that. So, all in all, work goes good. And I got a clip of Christian getting a new PR, which that is really exciting for him. So, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, shower up, and then I do not know what we have planned for tonight. I think we were gonna go bowling or something so yeah I think I talked about that earlier today so I'll see you guys back at the hotel while I get the water running and get it nice and warm for me do a quick physique update I didn't weigh in today so I don't know what I'm sitting at exactly we're 168 167-ish around there but yeah so praying uh still staying pretty shredded let me set the camera down right here. About to leave for dinner, as usual. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Elevate Pullover from Gymshark. Joggers from Elfleet, as you can see. Then down below, I got the black and white fly nets. And Mariah's wearing that cute stuff, so. I like to go with the comfy feel after a workout. Uh, last night I wore the jeans, so, and it was okay. I, I really would have rather worn joggers. We're going to a Japanese restaurant. I don't know exactly what it's called. I just know that Christian goes there, and he said it was really good, so I'm going to give it a shot. They also serve shoot, uh, sushi, so I was thinking about getting one roll of that and giving that a shot, too, because I haven't really tried sushi before, so. It's called Keeper something, something. So when we get there, I'll let you know. So here we are, it's actually Keeper's Japanese restaurant and bar. Super excited, never tried it before, so here we are, going inside. Decided to go with Panda Garden. We didn't really see anything on the menu that we liked at the other place, unfortunately. They, ha they had like a ton of sushi and nothing else, so I didn't want to risk it, so we just came here, see how it is. So here's my food, Mariah's hasn't came yet. I got spicy and tangy chicken, one cup of rice, and two vegetable egg rolls on the side. So after this, I'm going to go run cardio. And yeah, so that's the plan. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so back at the hotel room. We're super full, so I feel really lazy, but I still got to do my cardio. This, so they have an exercise room downstairs in this hotel, so that's what I'm going to do. They have an elliptical. I already went and checked, so that's, that's my first choice of exercising next one would be probably the treadmill don't really like to do that so I'm gonna do the elliptical you know plug in my headphones get some YouTube videos watched and it'll be done in no time that's what I usually do it keeps you distracted and it's a really it's like a good method for doing cardio so yeah that's gonna be on this video tomorrow is gonna be a good day got a leg workout so I love doing legs because it's so hard and I love I like doing hard things. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.